Hello everyone, it's Prophet Aaliyah Connect and it is July 6th of 2024. God bless you. I pray that all is well in your house and I pray that the Lord is guiding you and keeping you and instilling a sense of hope for your future. Knowing just like our previous conversation that your war is not lost. Keep believing in Jesus Christ and he will continue to establish you. This is just a temporary circumstance. Now, I'm on here to discuss something very important, and I'll keep it brief. For about one year, the Lord has been talking to me about 2025, the challenges of 2025 specifically. He hasn't been um, very detailed about what's to come, but I know that uh, there may be some difficulties that were not established in 2024. So there will be difficulties in 2025 for some who are not preparing and being guided and promed and prepared by the Holy Spirit. Okay, so I've been saying this in my private life. I've said this once publicly in ministry, at least once. And I'm coming on again to make this crystal clear. Now, this year recently, people have been talking about Project 2025. Now, this may be connected, but truly, what this is from the Lord is his own thunder. This is his own judgment. This is his own shaking. This is him judging the scenarios that we are encountering in the earth and his dissatisfaction with behavior. So let's just be crystal clear and not be politically correct right now. There is a great delusion that has set itself in the mind and hearts of many people in the land especially those in the United States, as it relates to pushing boundaries. You know, this country has become uh, filled with people who have a mindset that does not respect boundaries as it relates to sexuality, as it relates to violence, murder, theft. You know, we still have many people, the majority of people who are still good, you know, good natured, uh, balanced thinking. But right now we need to pinpoint the great delusion and we need to burst the bubble of that and help people be brought back to God's light, which is God's truth. The Bible in John chapter 15, verse 15 says that we can do nothing, absolutely nothing without Jesus Christ. And I believe it. I know it personally. And that means that without being connected to the source of life, the source of truth, the source of power and direction and protection, We wither away and we do die. And if people are disconnected from Jesus Christ right now, they are underneath the law of God's grace, meaning we can't just ask for grace and receive it. God, by his sovereign judgment, gives it so that he can give us time to be drawn back into right thinking, into wisdom, into desiring his presence in our lives. And I just want to take a moment to acknowledge the forefathers who established the the Declaration of Independence on July 4th of 1776. This is where 13 colonies and 56 delegates established their separation from Britain's dictatorship. And they very well, it was a very well, well written document where there was a list of what they did not like. And one of the things was lawlessness of leadership Now, Project 2025 in my site, from what I've read and from what I've heard about it, it sounds like the same thing, where there are people who are unhappy. Now, these people happen to be in leadership, but they are essentially, it feels to me in my heart, the revelation God has given me, they're doing something very similar to what was done with the Declaration of Independence. And I've never heard anybody, I was just literally listening to the voice of the Holy Spirit as I was rereading the Declaration of Independence and thinking about this Project 2025. And it dawned on me by revelation of the Holy Spirit that that is what they're doing. They are declaring that homosexuality in books given as literature to children is wrong. These things are natural. We see in the Declaration of Independence in the very first sentence, the word God and God's territory, nature, 
and how God gives all human beings inalienable rights to freedom, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. But see, the devil, when you give him an inch, he'll take a foot. So when our forefathers leaned on God as they called out to God, essentially in writing, to help them establish amongst themselves independence and enough power to disconnect themselves from Britain. God bestowed them the power and we are living in the harvest of that 250 years later. We are a young country. But unfortunately, what has happened is that liberty has been taken advantage of. That liberty does not come without dependence on God. That is how we got here. So anyone in this country, in the United States of America, that feels that they should be so liberated that they do not have to lean on God or depend on God or draw from Jesus Christ and his wisdom, Father God and the Holy Spirit, for their moral code is absolutely delusional. It is absolutely unacceptable or unacceptable to have laws that allow children to change their sexes at such a young age, to be exposed to sexual content in, in uh, same-sex kissing, same-sex marriage, in commercials. And I know this is going to tick a lot of people off because the, the, the devil wants everybody to think that, oh, God is love. And that's the reason why people have been parading around at pride parades. And I'm only talking about this right now because this is where one of the great delusions most exists in our country, that this is acceptable behavior when it is absolutely unacceptable behavior. Absolutely unacceptable. The Bible calls it, calls it, um, and I can't even think of the word right now, but it's like a detestable. It is, it is un, absolutely unacceptable. So to indoctrinate our children into this great delusion that will separate them from God is sending them to hell. And I'm actually happy and I'm not calling, I'm, I'm bipartisan. I, I focus on the truth. So I'm not a part of the Democratic Party or the Republican Party. I'm a part of God's kingdom par, 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 party. Lord, y'all, it's, it's about uh, midnight. I've been working all day. So just kind of work with me here. What I'm saying is I follow the truth of the Lord and what this country is undergoing is just ridiculous. We're seeing vice presidents and, and while I respect presidents and vice presidents and, and people who have been called to lead, one thing I do not respect is to open the door to Satan and allow for the legalization of same-sex marriage. Yes, people are free to love whoever they want. But when it comes to leadership, God sets up leadership. That is, a, that is an anointing. And when God calls a person to lead, we are not supposed to become Saul's. We're not supposed to turn away from God. And when God gives us an instruction to do a thing, we go and do something opposite. God is calling us to get back into right thinking. We are not to idolize positions. That's one of the worst things that a person can do is idolize a White House or idolize a title or a position, president, vice president. No, who are the people behind the body suits? Whose kingdom are they representing? And I'm not saying that that the person who's in charge right now is bad. As a matter of fact, God has been asking me to pray for this person, our leader, our current leader, President Biden, without any disrespect to former vice president or for, former President Trump. There was a time, and I'm just going to release it here. God says, don't go slowly on this. There was a time where Trump did have the favor of God in my heart, and I knew it when he was in office for those four years. He did a lot to stop what Satan was trying to do. But right now, the Lord is talking about um, his heart space, Trump's heart space, in, in wanting to ensure that he does not get into office and then try to get revenge on those who have um, done him, quote unquote, wrong. And that's that's where the great issue lies in my heart. And I know this, I'm just going to say it publicly. I'm not saying that he can't turn his heart toward the Lord, or I'm not saying where his heart is. But I know in my heart as a prophet of God, that is what God has been telling me. 
So you all, I just pray that you don't take this declaration of independence from Britain and think that it is a declaration of independence from God. Because when we study that declaration of independence that has gotten us to this great state of this country while working with God, this is God's land. This is God's world and this is God's America. And so whatever we do moving forward, I pray that it is connected to the spirit of God as I respect all people, all parties, all leaders. I just pray that we begin to take the principles of God very seriously and begin to translate them into our lives. God bless you all. And I will talk to you in the next prophetic release.